Let's say you're working through and reading the text in chapter one, and you get to learning objective number four, and you start to read through it, and it's a bit long. So you start talking about the income statement, the revenues, expenses, all the things you see on the income statement, and then you jump to the statement of retained earnings, and then the balance sheet, which goes on for a long, long time. Then they get to the statement of cash flows, and then finally, we're done. Now, you're probably wondering, what can I do with all this excellent knowledge I just navigated through? Well, here's what you can do. If you go back to My Accounting Lab and go down to Chapter Resources and click on Chapter 1 and select Chapter Study Plan, it will open up all the resources for Chapter 1 by Learning Objective. So go down to Learning Objective 1.4, click it, and then scroll down. So these are all the practice problems, and if you look closely at, say, for instance, question S1-12, you're probably wondering, what does that mean? Where is that coming from? Where are all these questions coming from? If you go back to your textbook, you go to this end of chapter summary problem, you scroll down a bit, you'll see that you're at the end of the chapter. Well, beyond this, there are end of chapter questions. So click ahead and go to the section where you see S1-12. There's the question. Go back to My Accounting Lab and click on that question. And go ahead and maximize it so you can read it better. So the question starts off, Leon Services Inc. began 2016, total assets, blah, 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 blah. If you go back to the book, starts off, O'Connor Services began 2016 with total assets, blah, blah, blah. So it's the same question that you're seeing. So when you go through and you see a problem like this, there's a lot of data, but just go down to the question, ask, see what it's asking you. It's asking to prepare an income statement. If you don't know what to do, go up to question help, click it, and then click on help me solve this problem. So the authors start talking about what does the requirement mean? Okay, so go down below where it says the first step in preparing the financial statements, blah, blah, blah. And they provide hyperlinks that give you some information about certain definitions and certain phrases. But the rest of this section of the problem helps you walk through step by step what to do. And so it may be very useful to, to choose this. So here we see that that's the title we need to insert in the actual solution. And the rest says go ahead and practice filling in these labels. So here, it asks you to choose from any drop-down list. So you can go ahead and click on that title. And in this case, we need some revenues. And we also need some expenses. Let's click on those. And then you know, we may want to check to make sure that we know what we're doing here. So let's go ahead and say check answer. That looks good. And then it says, moves on to the next step of the process. And it says, yes, for instance, go take revenue minus expenses. That's your net income. So that's the reason why we're doing well so far. Press continue. And we'll move on from there. Now it says, scroll down. We're already down. It says, now from here, go ahead and enter in the amounts in millions. So in these boxes below, take the information from the problem. In this case, we have 399 million. So go ahead and type in 399. And expenses were 165 million dollars and now from here what we can do is if you don't have a calculator just go up to question help and click calculator and you're gonna have to click these numbers in so 399 minus 165 equals 234 so type in 234 and let's check our answer Awesome sauce. Okay. So that is how we can solve the problem overall. Now let's go ahead and close out of this and let's do it for real. All right. So we need to type in some titles and it's the McKay Services Inc. company. So McKay Services Inc. And the statement is the income statement. And this is for the year ended. December 31st, 2016. And if you're curious about whether or not that is the right answer, you can always go back to the textbook and look at the examples. 
Uh, but right now, we've already sort of seen an example, so let's just kind of move on. We need some revenue. And in this case, how much was the revenue? It was 390, so 390, which is stated in millions. We need some expenses. Click on that. Let's actually move it a little bit higher here. Expenses, make this blank. And type in 171. Now again, you can go ahead and go up to your questions help tab up here and select the calculator to open up the calculator. Um, if you don't like this calculator, I don't blame you, uh, just use the calculator that you have on your computer. And you can go ahead and just type it in, in this case 390 minus 171 equals 219. Let's go back here, type 219. Now, you don't know this yet, but there are some nuances in this particular problem. So I'm going to show you what they are here in a second. So let me go ahead and just type in 220, even though we know it's 219. And I'll click check answer. Ouch, that's not correct. And income, you must have calculated, is incorrect. So let's try again. Okay, let's try 218. Check answer. No, does not like it. So okay. And of course we can type in 220, but I'm going to say, or type in 219, but let's go ahead and just put 217. Let's just really aggravate this problem here and see what happens. No, you're wrong. So here's what they do. Go ahead and click the X. Now, and notice what they do here. They show you what the solution is exactly. So no matter what you do, if you just don't know what it's supposed to look like, you can just click check answer, check answer, and check answer, and it'll show you what the answer should look like. But if you've entered in anything wrong, you'll see this little tiny triangle here, and if you click it, it'll tell you, you answered 217, get answer feedback. Make sure that each line of the income statement is properly labeled, blah, 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 blah. So while this is the correct answer, this will also tell you what you answered incorrectly, and you'll be able to see the difference. Now I'm going to move on from here and show you some other nuances about this particular problem. So let's say you want to practice this again. Go down to the bottom right and click similar question. And what this is going to do, it's going to reset this problem. It's still the same problem, but it's just changed the name of the company and some of the financial information as well. So we already know that we have to start off with a company name. And this is going to be the income statement and it's going to be for the year ended December 31st, 2016. We know that we need revenues and I'm going to go ahead and click on a different level here for expenses and I'll type in the financial information, so revenues of 400 million and I'll hit tab, I like to hit tab key, it makes it move faster and then type in 169 uh oh, go back here Expenses. Oh, come on. Enter. There we go. Escape. 400 minus 169. Enter. 231. 231. And I'm going to leave that alone and just say check answer. Nice work. Some people may find that, let me go back to the question here. Some people may find that when they answer in different rows, Say, for instance, if you typed in revenues up here and you inserted expenses down here, some people will find that the answer shows up incorrectly because they inserted the title in, a, in an incorrect row. Don't get too frustrated by that. That's just a little bit of a nuance for the, from the system. So I just want to be able to demonstrate that you may come across that as a frustrating aspect of this program. So let's go ahead and close out of this and head back to chapter one resources chapter study plan and scroll down a bit go ahead and go back into 1.4 so this will keep track of all the questions that you attempted that relate to the material in learning objective four of chapter one so if you got anything wrong you can go back click it and practice it again and also notice that there's these little video clips here. So let's go back to S1-12 and I'll show you some of the other help that's involved 
are available with this problem. Go up to question help and we've already done help me solve this problem but go ahead and click the video go ahead and maximize it today we'll look at an overview of the three basic financial statements for an entity we're going to look at the financial statements of a merchandising company what is the content and purpose of the following statements income statement statement of owners equity balance sheet statement of cash flow I'm gonna go ahead and pause it right here you can kinda of guess what this video is all about it walks you through specifically what's on an income statement so this video can help you answer this particular problem so you understand what are the inputs to the income statement so that's just another level of help for you in this problem so that's how we will navigate through these different types of problems if we decide to do them in class or if I choose to use some of them um, on these videos when I go through the lectures but it's up to you to really practice through all these different types of problems because it's really only when you do these problems that you really begin to understand what accounting is all about and most importantly what you're expected to do on the exam.